Hi, this is Dave Shapton from Red Shark, and I'm with Evan from Isotope, and we're going to talk about the new version uh, RX6, which, as usual, has some incredible stuff in it. Can, can you tell us what's what's new in RX6? Absolutely. So we are uh, introducing a number of new modules, and uh, so two of the modules that we're really excited about were developed using machine learning. Um, so that's D Russell, so uh, specifically targeting lab mic Russell, um, which is a problem that has been plaguing the industry for a very, very long time and uh, just takes a whole lot of manual work to be able to remove. Um, it's something we've been trying to fix for a very long time and eventually it turned out sort of machine learning was the, uh, was the solution. And so now it's a simply one-click process to remove any and all lab mic wrestling. So can I just press a pause button for a minute? Machine mm -hmm. learning, you threw that in. <laughs> Yes, we, yes. <laughs> we don't often find machine learning in, in digital audio. So, so how, how does that work? What does, it, what does it do for you? So it's, it's something that we've really been exploring. Uh, probably one of the first places we used it was in our last mixing tool, Neutron, um, which essentially was trained to be able to recognize different instruments, whether it's uh, you know, vocals or uh, drums or bass, um, and basically learn from that uh, how do we want to process this so we can actually create sort of a starting point for you. Um, this, we're really taking it sort of to the next level, where we're essentially uh, shuttling a bunch of clean audio files in to teach it, this is what dialogue looks like, this is what a human voice should sound like, and then simultaneously feeding it a bunch of examples of really bad, destroyed audio, so just completely covered up with rustle or all sorts of background noise. So renting out a whole bunch of cloud processing after ages of just running through it, it eventually can learn how to actually separate them. So source separation being, let's pull out this dialogue and get rid of all this background noise. Um, so we've spent quite a bit of time with it and uh, we're very pleased with the results. Now, um, now when you say remove the background noise, I know you're understating it a bit there because you've just played <laughs> me an example. Uh, I, I mean, really, it was like, a, uh, a bit of dialogue, and then the sound of somebody throwing concrete and metal into a skip. You know, it was like a, it's like building site noises. And you played me the before and after, and it got rid of almost all of that. It, it took it from completely unusable to absolutely usable. Pretty pristine. Yeah. It's, um, that's a, a, a situation like that where the noise is just completely changing uh, a lot of, you know, random transient information. Those are things where typical denoisers really sort of struggle. Um, and that's actually what led us to create Dialogue Isolate. Is this something that just, again, denoisers really aren't able to handle? What can we do to be able to say, this is Dialogue, get rid of everything else? Um, and in some situations, you may want to completely get rid of it and just extract Dialogue. Or in most situations, it's going to be just attenuated until mm. it's natural and still part of the scene to tell the story, yeah. but out of the way and clean enough. <laughs> So for me, the most exciting thing is that you're just starting out with this technology. You're starting to do useful things with it. It can only get better. I mean, I'm not going to ask you to speculate what's coming next, but I mean, this is, this is incredible. You've unleashed this machine learning in a digital audio product, and it's just very exciting. You can absolutely expect that going forward, we're going to be doing a lot more on that because, as you said, this is really sort of just the beginning. Mm. Um, it's, you know, we can generate just incredibly complex uh, processors to be able to fix just really crazy problems that is just very difficult to do with traditional algorithmic development. Um, so you can expect that we're going to be delving more into that going forward. Uh, I would imagine we're going to be doing some more sort of use case specific things. Like again, like lab mic wrestle. It's a very specific mm. situation, mm. Uh, but something that we've but heard. very common. Exactly, and very common. Uh, so if we can create something that is specifically tailored to that use, we can make it really clean. <laughs> okay, so where can people people go if they want to find out more about RX6? So uh, hitting our website, www.isotope.com slash RX. Um, in addition to just having uh, so free 30-day trials, we've actually also, so uh, one of our team members, Jeff, has created a whole bunch of really good sort of walkthrough tutorials, mm. and you can actually download the audio files from the website oh, as well fantastic. and follow yeah. along. Yeah. All right. Thanks ever so much. It's, it's really exciting. Thank you.